what's up all my vaping friends and family of YouTube, Josh back once again with an e-liquid review for you, been a while, how you doing? We got uh, Deep Cuts, Side B, Psycho Crawler, uh, this is a highly recommended juice from Grim Green, seems to be one of his favorites, all day vapes, I've had this bottle for a while, for a while. Um, at least three months and I haven't vaped through it. it it doesn't have much I think there's like 20 mils left in there um, but it's supposed to be a sweet dough flavor dipped in caramel milk that's the profile um, the average going price for a 60 milliliter bottle of this juice this deep cuts Side B Psycho Crawler is between $14 and like 20 bucks. Not horrible, not the best. Uh, the reason I haven't gone through this bottle isn't because I don't like it. Uh, it's, it's a really good flavor. And um, I just got into my DIY stuff. And when you're making your own juice, you literally just want to like perfect something that you can vape all day long and you don't have much use for mainstream or commercial e-liquids when you're making your own stuff especially if it's something that's good like if, if you're doing good at DIY like I feel that I am um, you just can make a psycho crawler like I have the components to make something like this I might just for fun see if I can figure out what's in here and see if I can whip it up and then post it on all the flavors but as of right now that's not a goal I I don't need to do that but uh yeah let's let's vape this shit I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a finger taste test I I've learned that finger tasting things before you vape it and giving a review can kind of screw things up um, in the sense that like you put that flavor on your tongue and then it lingers there and then you take a, a vape and you're still tasting what you put in your mouth from your finger and you're not totally understanding how sweet or not sweet or how complex a vape juice is in the vape. Uh, so enough blathering and bullshitting. I got this super fucking cool Anakin I Taste Hunter at uh, E-Sig Mafia for like $14. It's a whole kit, comes with an old school iSub tank and uh, fits my 23mm aromamizer light perfect so this thing is boss I, I got I think I got the last one it looks like the army it's like green and black looks like an army gas can thing is fucking tits um, a 0.32 at 45 watts let's take a rip I'll tell you what I think Yeah, this stuff is is really really good. Um, I I think Grim Green's got it nailed. Like you could vape this shit all day long. It's not too sweet. It's not under sweet. It's got a very nice nice flavor of it. It does have a caramel milk essence to it. Like I've drank caramel milk. I don't know if you've ever bought those bottles at the supermarket. I don't know if they even still do this. They were doing this like five years ago or something, but you could buy a glass bottle of milk in like blueberry or strawberry or caramel or chocolate or white. And then once you were done, you could bring the bottle back and they would give you a dollar at the supermarket for the bottle. And then it gets sent back to the company and then it gets washed and redone all over again. The caramel milk that comes in that glass bottle is basically exactly what I'm tasting out of this juice in the Aromamizer Light version 1.5.
super delicious. I'm gonna take another vape and see if I can pick up the donutty or doughy taste. I, I didn't really get it on the first hit. This is a fresh cotton, fresh build. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the best that this juice has ever tasted. I've vaped it out of other stuff. But this is the first time I'm actually getting like a solid vape out of the Aromamizer light with this juice. Um, it's it's fucking good. Uh, I think I'm going to try to make this. I'm I'm gonna make something similar to this. I do have a caramel flavor. I do have like some cakes and uh, cookies and other stuff. I'm not sure if I have something that's a dough, but I I gotta try to recreate something like this. This is fucking delicious. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all day big, 100%, perfect amount of fucking sweetness, the flavor is spot on, much better than I was leading on in the beginning, I just hadn't really gotten this good of an experience out of it until now, um, this is the perfect tank to vape this juice out of, holy shit, alright, so, 0 to 5 on the description, whether I think it's a doughy donut dipped in caramel milk and then baked um let's say it's like a four and a half i don't i don't necessarily get like a baked element to it it's kind of like similar to like a fried doughy dough type of taste which is basically a donut so i guess yeah close enough i'll say four and a half though um and and the milk and the and the caramel is like spot on like the milk is just perfect like you're getting just enough of it to know that it's there and that caramel is like nice and like just the right amount of sweetness absolutely a beautiful fucking flavor and that dough is on the end it's like the last thing that you taste as the caramel and the milk are fading away fucking awesome i love it this mug is so cool I, I can't get over this i mean look this is so fucking cool all right, anyway, yeah, so four and a half on the description. I'd say it's pretty much perfect. Um, and then uh, sweetness, zero to five on sweetness. Zero not being sweet at all, five being excessively sweet. I like my e-juices between a four and a 4.5. You should know this if you've watched my channel for any amount of time. I like my stuff on the higher end of sweet. Um, this is right on that four line. It's probably the most even keeled flavor, sweetness. That it's just harmonious. Everything works together beautifully. So a four on the sweetness out of five. Beautiful, absolutely perfect. And depending on what you vape it out of, you might be able to elevate the sweetness or take it down, depending on what you like. All right, so. We're gonna take one more rip. We're gonna do a zero to 10. Zero being the worst juice, 10 being the best juice that I've ever fucking tried. We're gonna do one more rip. And I'm gonna bump it up to 50 watts from 45. Oh. Yeah, that's fucking delicious. And this single 18 50, this thing fucking blasts some coils. Alright, so zero being the worst, ten being the absolute best. This is the only caramel milk donut juice that I've ever had. So it's in a league of its own. Um, because I have nothing to compare it to, I'm going to give it a nine and a half out of ten. I, I think it's basically perfect. Like I said, if there was a little more like crunch, like baked, at, you know, baked accent to the donut... I would give it a 10, but the way it is, it's fucking gorgeous. So, nine and a half, all day long. Definitely recommend this, 100%. I would, I, I might have to buy some more if I can't figure out how to make something that's even close. But, 
yeah, that's about it. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to take one more rip. We're going to get the fuck out of here. I'd like to thank you for watching Chase Cloud's Flavor Reviews. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Definitely leave a comment down below. I love interacting with you guys. It's wonderful. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go. Stay cloudy.